to begin with, can you tell me what led you to want to write Eden? Um, it was uh, my sister's project first. Um, she had made like three films already and she wanted to go in a new direction. Uh, she wanted to try something very different and she had that idea of doing a film where the music would be very important, like almost like a, a character of the film. And, and she wanted to, to talk about our generation. I think it, it was a way for her to go back into that time, to those days. She had a kind of nostalgia or something. So she asked me if I wanted to work with her, collaborate. And that's how it all started. I was, I was doing nothing at those days. So. so you got to inject a lot of your own experiences, I imagine, right. into Eden. How much of your life is in this film? Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, I, it's, it's difficult to say because um, we started to work on a script like three years ago and, and um, she, she started by interviewing me like, and, and she took some notes for hours and then she, she made a mix of things that she invented, things that I invented and, and things that were real. And it's a mixture and it's probably half, half, you know, but it's difficult to say. So, something I don't even know, remember, actually, <laughs> if, if they happened really or not. Yeah. Can well, you describe to me your memories of DJing in the 90s? Now that well, you, now that, that would be <laughs> a book. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> well, uh, it was just like a dream, like, you know, in, especially the first years. It was just partying all the time. It wasn't a work, it was just like, enjoying our time and, and having all those parties and first it was just going to parties but then we realized especially with my partner at those days we could be more uh, active in that scene and but even then it was still doing some parties and, and we met all those people and and we were getting in more and more into the music and and we were really like passionate so for us it's like it was like discovering a, a world that was brand new. Felix's character, obviously, eventually his life winds down, his DJing life winds down. Mm -hmm. Did you experience any of that and the difficulty of trying to move your life off of that party track? Absolutely. Um, like many DJs, I think. Um, I was getting older, but st still doing the party. <laughs> And the, the, the taste of the people changed and they were less into my music uh, than before. And I, I, at those days, I, wanted, I, I was really like focused. I, 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 just, I was so passionate, I, I couldn't think of an, any other kind of music. So then the contrast between what I loved and what the people like was getting bigger and bigger. And I didn't really realize it, I think. So, and, and we had less and less people coming to our parties and, and, and I, I, I couldn't do anything else, unfortunately, during those days. And, and then it became a problem and there were the parties, the alcohol, the drugs. And also it's difficult when you DJ and especially when you DJ a lot in your hometown, like I did, like in Paris, because you have all those people coming and their friends and they are just coming to enjoy and to, to party. But you should know that you're working, but it's, it's, it's difficult, especially when you're young, to make the difference, to see that, no, you're working. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be drinking with your friends, but you see your friends drinking and taking drugs, and, and you're, you want to do it. I mean, uh, unless you're a very really strong uh, character, mm -hmm. and, I, and I don't, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm easy to, uh, be, to get in friends, though. How does it feel to have a film made that's been inspired so strongly by your experiences? Um, well, in the beginning, especially during, especially during the time we, we, we worked on the film, I worked on the film, I was so much uh, uh, into it, like working on, on every aspect, on, on every different uh, period of the, 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 the work on the film, like the preparation, the production, the shooting, the, the edit, everything. So I had no distance, you know, it was, I, just, I just did it. Uh, and, and it's only when the film was released that I realized it was a bit heavy, but only when the film was released. Mm -hmm. 
And I had a time when it was a bit difficult, but now it's, it's already released in France since a while, so it's all right. It seems like a film, although it's set in the 90s and then moving forward, it could easily be set today. It, it seems like an almost timeless film for this oh, kind of industry. You think so? I think so. Um, because for us, um, there was something different. Like, like, of course, right now, nowadays, like, this music is really huge uh, in Europe, in the States. Uh, and, but at those days, it was more underground, and we had like a, we were very young and discovering all this was like, it was fresh, like it came from nowhere. And I think the young people now, they, 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 they love that music, but they know that it doesn't come from nowhere, you know, they, they know that it has 10 years and tw or even 20 years of history. But when, when this music uh, just arrived in, in France, it was almost like a newborn, so. Like a revolution. Yeah.